My name is Michael Needham, um, and I work with Cobham Satcom for since 1991. Uh, and I wanted to kind of give a little bit of history. Arthur C. Clarke first envisioned satellites in geosynchronous orbit in October of 1945. And that then means a satellite that's 22,700 miles above the equator. And with three equally spaced satellites then, we would be able to provide global communications via three satellites. So here we are today, and we have thousands of satellites actually in a variety of orbits, not just the geosynchronous orbit antennas that are stabilized so that they're used on board ships and still stay very accurately pointed at those satellites that are 22,700 miles above the equator. And the ship can be rolling, pitching, and turning at up to 12 degrees per second and have that antenna still stay accurately pointed at that satellite. Two major types of antennas. One type is used to receive signals from the satellite only, television being the primary one of those, but there are others. And the other type of antennas then are able to send and receive through the satellite. So the TV antennas primarily for those that have been out on ships, cruise ships, or work boats of any kind, that's the primary medium for receiving television, just like you would in your home uh, if you have satellite services, or even a lot of the cable services receive their programming through a satellite connection. In the past, if you got to watch movies and television programming when you were out on a ship, it's because someone had recorded it on videotape, took it along with you out on the ship, and then played it for people to be able to watch. So, of course, that was dated information. So those television antennas on the ships today provide you with the real-time programming so that you can watch sports or movies that are, being, that are happening right now, even live programming. The antennas that are able to send and receive signals through the satellite are primarily used for transferring computer data, emails, video teleconferencing, voice over IP, all of those kind of services, and then a whole bunch more of just remote and uh, monitoring and control so that either company corporate offices or people at home can actually control things that are happening out, out on that ship while it's actually out to sea and transferring all those kinds of data. So again, in the past, when I first joined the company, the first guy off the ship was the one that had the tape from the mainframe computers on board that would run uptown to load that data into the, com the computers ashore, download the new information, take it back down to the ship, and load it into the ship. And all of the billing, like for cruise ships and stuff, all the billing was done after the fact based on that information that they got off the computers. Now it's all real time. Swipe your credit card, buy that thing from the gift shop or whatever, and it's all going through the satellite while the ship is down cruising around in the Caribbean.